Hello, and in this video we're going to be talking about mass fraction and mole fraction. So in words, the mass fraction of A is the mass of A over the total mass. So the abbreviation is X sub A. And usually for this part, it's kind of a personal preference thing. I usually write M sub A and then capital M for the total mass. And the mole fraction of A is the moles of A over the total moles, and that's used with Y sub A. And this part is also, there's no real uh, way to do this. I just write moles sub A over moles sub T. And that's really a personal preference thing. There's no right or wrong way to do that, whatever is easiest for you. So let's see how this is applied. Okay, so we have a mixture of metals we have 25 grams of gold, 45 grams of silver, and 30 grams of copper. And we want to calculate the mass fraction and mole fraction of each component. And we're also given a table of molar mass values to help us out. So first things first, let's do the mass fraction because that's what we were given. So rewriting everything with uh, chemical symbols from the periodic table, we have 25 grams of gold, 45 grams of silver, and 30 grams of copper. So the first step is to get the total mass. So that's just summing these together and we get 100 grams. So that'll make calculations pretty easily. So for each component, we're going to be taking the grams of that component divided by the total grams. So for the mass fraction of gold, that's just 25 over 100 or 0 0.5. And doing this for silver, we get 0 0.45. And for a copper, we get 0 0.30. Okay, so now we'll look at the mole fractions of each component. All right, so this is the molar mass table that they're referring to. We have the molar masses for gold, silver, and copper, and this is a conversion factor we'll be using. It gives the grams of each component per one mole. So what I would recommend doing is writing out the grams of each component we have and leaving a little bit of space. So we have 25 grams of gold, 45 grams of silver and 30 grams of copper and we want to get all of these into moles so we'll use these convenient conversion factors given here and plug those in so each one is going to be multiplied by the gram mole conversion factor so for gold that's 196 point 9665 grams per one mole of gold. And for one mole of silver, we have 107.8682 grams. And for one mole of copper, we have 63.546 grams. Okay, so multiplying all these out, we'll get the... And canceling each of the... Uh, grams component, we'll get all of the components in moles now. So doing that calculation, we get 0 0.1269 moles of gold, 0 0.4172 moles of silver, and lastly 0 0.4721 moles of copper. And now that we have the moles of each component, at this point we're going to want to calculate the total moles, which is just taking the sum of all these, and we get 1.0162 moles. All right, so the mole fraction is going to be the moles of each component divided by the total moles. And this also works out very well because we have all the components in moles. So now we can divide each molar component by the total moles, 1.0. 
and using the abbreviation Y and the, in the subscript you indicate the element. So the molar fraction of gold is 0 0.125. The molar fraction for silver is 0 0.411 and lastly for copper it's 0 0.465. Okay, so we have seen that you can start with either grams or moles, or you can even start with a combination of the components in grams or moles, but to get the mole component or the mass component, you're going to want to convert all of your components into the same unit, and then calculate the total, and then divide each component by the total, and that will give you your end result. Thanks for watching, and if you thought this was helpful, uh, check out the other videos or leave a comment below.